Good, I guess it's afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. It is St. Patrick's Day, 2021, March 17th, and it is a beautiful sunny day. Um, and I normally don't do my Facebook Live Take Two on Wednesdays, but Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping today. It's a 24-hour flash sale with free shipping, which is amazing. They don't do that very often. I thought, you know, today's the day um, that I should go live. So let me let me just check and see if anyone's hopped on here yet. I'm hoping that people do. If you're there, say hello so I know I'm in the right place and that you all can find me. Um, I'm wearing my St. Patrick's Day scarf again because, you know, I only get to wear it like once or twice a year. So I thought I would take advantage of it again today. Uh, let me just see. Give me a minute here. Hopefully someone will, will hop on. If you're there, just say hello. If not, I'm just going to go ahead because what I realize is most people watch my Facebook Lives in a replay, um, which is which is just fine. Um, there's Anne Marie. Hello. Okay. Hi, Anne Marie. Um, I bet your sister's going to be joining on in a minute as well. So I'm just going to wait another minute or two. Um, so the free shipping is a 24 hour flash sale and or flash. I guess it's a flash sale. You could call it that with free shipping. It ends tonight. Um, Stampin' Up! has not offered free shipping for quite a while. So it's a great time to take advantage of um, getting some things on your wish list um, and just enjoying that extra. It's a 10% savings. So, okay, there's Lisa. I'm going to go ahead and um, flip my phone down. And I, today I am sharing, well, so first because it's St. Patrick's Day, I got to bring this cute little card in again. This is the one that I made on Monday and it's a little leprechaun suit and I, I think this is adorable. I've gotten some really good feedback on this. So I just wanted to share that with you. And what I'm, and this was made with the Well Suited Suite from the January to June mini catalog and it is actually, you know, of course, traditional um, bow ties, suits, ties, white collared shirts, that kind of thing. Um, and I think I mentioned this before, but this designer paper, um, they actually had someone bring in some ties and shirts from Stampin' Up. Um, they had him bring in some ties and shirts from his um, closet, and that's how they designed this designer paper. And of course, it's always cuter when you see it in person. So I just have some little snippets here and you can see there's like a tweed, um, some different patterns. I can see my husband, I think my husband has a suit like this actually, <laughs> probably one like this as well. And then on the other side, these are fun and I can see these as ties, right? Bow ties or neckties. So most most people obviously are not going to wear a green suit like this. So this is a this is um, of course meant to be more traditional. But I have had a lot of fun with this suite, and so today I have um, something a little more traditional, and then something kind of thinking outside of the box a little bit. So my first project. Hi Debbie, your sister's on too. She beat you. Hi Pam. All right, so I just have, I have a basic gray card base. It's cut four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it in the middle at five and a half. And then I have, this is one of the designer paper patterns. This one looks like a shirt to me. And then this of course would be a really great tie. And then I have these little um, pieces here. I'm going to talk about these one second. I'm going to bring in my little mat to stamp. And so I'm going to start out with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Hi, Debbie. How are you? So I'm just going to stamp this bow tie. Let me show you. Well, I guess I didn't bring it over here. So I'm going to just stamp the necktie or the bow tie, I'm sorry, um, right onto the designer paper. We had a good friend. He was actually a mentor to my husband when he was a when he was a young um, lawyer and 
he used to always wear bow ties like this. So anytime I see a bow tie, I think of our friend, Phil. He's a, he was a great guy. Okay, and then I'm gonna just flip this one over and do that. So I have three bow ties here. And I am going to bring in the suit and tie dies. And there are two different um, bow tie shapes. I used both of them on my leprechaun card. I just stacked them up because to me, I think when you tie a bow tie, I think you have like a double layer. I'm not sure, but to me, that's how I remember it anyway. But for these, I'm just going to um, use this bigger die. It coordinates with the stamp and cut out these three bow ties. And through the magic of Facebook Live, I already have them here and are those not cute? All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just, I have a stitched rectangle die that I've cut, it has stitching all around it, and I'm just gonna layer these, um, or attach these three bow ties to that panel. I'm just gonna position these See how straight I can get them. Usually when I do these Facebook Lives, my things are crooked. Okay, I'm gonna put that about right there. And then my third one, this flowery one, which I think is really fun. My husband has some ties that are paisley and he doesn't wear bow ties, but he might wear a tie like this. Okay, so there's my two, my three little bow ties right on there. And then I'm going to take, um, I'm gonna do some stamping. And this is from the Handsomely Suited stamp set that of course is part of this suite. There's my bow, you can see there's the bow tie. And I'm just gonna stamp a happy birthday to you. I have been busy today with people calling and ordering um, to take advantage of the free shipping. So don't miss out, it's a great, great deal. And you know, of course I always appreciate your orders. Okay, I agree Pam, I think bow ties are cute. So there I have a happy birthday to you. So I'm gonna put my ink away. And then I'm just gonna put this card together. So I'll start with my basic gray card base. And then I have a piece of basic black and then I'm just layering that with just a teeny bit of the basic black showing. I, I just thought it set it off, set off the pattern a little bit, made it, it just made it pop a little bit. So I'm gonna attach those together. One thing to take advantage of during the free shipping today is um, our in our retiring in colors. Um, I've had people ordering those today and you wanna be sure to take advantage of those because they are going to be gone. And some of the colors that are retiring make me really sad because there's, they are some of my favorites. Um, Pretty Peacock, I love that color. I hate to see that go. Purple Posy is a be that beautiful purple color. Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, and Terracotta Tile. And I will say Seaside Spray and Pretty Peacock are my favorites. I, I just hate, hate, hate to see those go. But when they go, that means we br we're gonna be bringing in some new in colors. So that's always fun to see what those are. Hi, Jean, how are you? Hi, Mary. Thanks everybody for joining in. All right, and then this panel is just a four by five and a quarter. I always line my cards with this, a panel like this, unless I'm using Whisper White, uh, Whisper White base, but I just feel like that kind of finishes it. Okay, now I'm just gonna put this together. I, use, I pulled one of the um, other patterns from the paper this one and um, I use the stitch rectangle die again and I cut it the same size as the white one that I did 
And I'm just gonna angle this a little bit and just position this, the one with the bow ties right over, just to kind of set that set this one off a little bit. So I'll go ahead and attach this. No, Colleen, I will not be going live tomorrow. I'm doing it today instead. So I just thought because we have this um, free shipping special that it made more sense to go live today because I want you all to be able to take care of that. I wanted to take advantage of that. I wanted to make sure everyone knew about the free shipping special. It is just for today. And then, so this I'm just gonna put right here like that. And then I'm gonna add my little word panel. That's just gonna go right down there like that. So I'll go ahead and attach that. Like I said, this is a more traditional card. This is probably, these are probably bow ties that men would actually wear. Unless they're a leprechaun, then they would wear, then they would wear this, but I don't know too many leprechauns, right? Oh, Anne Marie, your mom's watching too. Hello, I'm so glad. And then to finish this up, I just wanted to add, even though it's a more manly card, don't be afraid to add some bling. And these are just the matte black dots, which I love. I've used those a lot for lots of different things since they, since they were released. And I'm just gonna take one of these. This is the bigger size. They come in two different sizes. And I'll just put that right there. And that just kind of sets that whole thing off. And so there is my first card. And then I thought it would be cute on my envelope. It's always fun to decorate your envelope. You put these away. And what I thought would be cute is just a simple little stamp of the bow tie. I'll just put that right there. So that's cute, makes it look fun. I always say it's the first card when the mail arrives, that is the, if someone gets a card with something like this on the envelope, that is the first card, that's the first envelope that they will, that they will um, open. So there is card number one. So what do you think? Show me some hearts, give me some love. I, I appreciate all the, um, all the support, right? <laughs> Um, okay, so that's card number one. Card number two is thinking outside of the box. And um, hi, Barb, how are you? Good to see you. We'll see you, quote unquote. All right, the next card is thinking outside the box a little bit. And this is for, you all probably know, well, maybe you don't know, but I have four daughters. And my daughter, Sarah, does pediatric um, anesthesia. And she is amazing. She is probably the sweetest, most thoughtful person I have ever met. I think she was born to be a nurse. Um, and so I kind of made this card with her in mind. And as I was making it this morning, I, I took a quick picture. I was trying to figure out part of this, which you'll see in a minute. And I sent it to her and she thought it looked pretty good. So this will be going to her eventually. Um, so I'm gonna start, this is just my basic white card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I am going to take, let's see if I can find all my parts and pieces here. Okay, so I started with, this is a, this is a piece of Balmy Blue cardstock. I had to text her and ask her what color scrubs she wore when she was at work and, and she actually was in the operating room at the time and um, was able to snap a quick picture um, of her of her legs so I could see. <laughs> but um, so what I did was I took this paper and I think for me scrubs have like a V-neck. So at least what I remember anyway. So I didn't want it to be too deep of a V-neck. And again, let me pull this in. For my leprechaun card, you know, this was, I was creating a suit with lapels. And so I um, used the whole length of this die to create, you know, to, to create the look of a lapel and a suit. But for the scrubs, I actually, um, just took, made that, did it like that because I just wanted a small little V. So I started with that. And then 
I'm just going to attach this. Well, not yet. I'm going to wait a minute. All right. Then what I did was I cut two little pockets because I know that all good nurses need pockets in their, in their scrubs, right? They put all kinds of things in there that they need. Probably, I don't know, thermometer and so I'm going to attach these little pockets and that is this little die here from the suit and tie um, set of dies. So I'm just going to add a little bit of my glue and position the pockets probably about right there. Oh, I need to push this up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to add the other pocket. Okay, so there's that. And then um, I, what I wanted to do was create a stethoscope. And so what I did was I used, I took my layering oval dies and with these dies, um, there are several different sizes, of course, of these ovals. And so what I did was picked, um, I wanted to I wanted to create you know this is going to be part of my stethoscope and so I didn't want it to be too skinny so I just I chose the biggest one and then I picked a couple down smaller size so that I could create a decent size um, width for my um, stethoscope so that's what I came up that's what this is and so what the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to just cut this in half here and the first one, what I'm going to do is position this here like this. And I'm just going to use my glue again and just put a little bit of glue on here. And I'm going to pick, the, whoop. Okay. So that's going to go about right there like that. I'm going to snip this off the top. Okay. And then for the, um, Stethoscope. Obviously, I'm not a nurse. I don't know what anything any of this is called. But for the round part, um, I'm used. I just use some circle punches. The smallest one is one and a quarter, and then the next size for layering is one and a half. So I'm going to put those together. I also thought about using like our silver um, foil. That would look really cute. But that's going to go on here, just like that. So that's the start of my stethoscope. So I'm going to start by just adhering it. There, like that and then I'll put the next this little circle on top okay so like that and then I wanted to take this part and make of course the other half because I know that when you see nurses and doctors they oftentimes will have the stethoscopes wrapped around their neck um, Yes, Debbie, I know you have a son in the in the medical field, don't you? Okay, so I'm going to cut, I'm just going to cut this straight off here like this and put that about, I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. Cut a little teeny little piece off. And then I'm going to take this piece and attach it behind like that. So that that is this stethoscope coming behind, coming from around their neck. So I'm just gonna put the, I have a little bit of glue there. Just gonna attach that like that. And I'll do the same thing. I'm just gonna use my glue. I'm sure all of us, especially this past year, probably know people, nurses that, um, you know, we could definitely show some appreciation to. Okay. So I'm going to do that like that. Actually, this I'm going to turn a little bit. The nice thing about using this glue is you can wiggle it a little. It gives you a little bit of room to wiggle it. And I'm going to just turn it like that a little bit. Okay, so this is this I'm just going to trim off the top. 
And then I was trying to figure out what I could use for the ends of this, the part that go in your ears. So what I came up with was, I looked and looked at these dies. I saw the buckles from the, um, these are for like the uh, suspenders. But then I saw this, I looked at this shape and I thought, you know what, to me, that almost looks like, I mean, it's a stretch. This is punch art, right? It's creative. So I guess it's a whimsical, whimsical type of um, uh, stethoscope. But what I did was I just cut two of these, just the ends in smoky slate like that. Now, when I made my leprechaun card on Monday, I used this end of the necktie to create these two little um, shapes for like a little gold hanky in his pocket. But for my stethoscope, I'm using the opposite end. And I'm just going to snip these off right, right there where they start to get wider. And those are gonna just go right on there like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach these with glue. Isn't it fun? I think this was a really, I have had so much fun with this suite. I think um, it's something that is, a, it's a good thing to add into your collection. It's, you can be super creative and do all kinds of different things. And the more I did this, I kept thinking of different things and I will probably um, do a post on my blog probably Thursday or Friday, probably Friday with a more traditional suit so you can see what that looks like as well. So be sure to check that out. But so there's my little nurse's scrub shirt and I'll just go ahead and attach it. To my card front, my base, basic white. And I'll just line this up like that. And there is my boop, cute little scrub card made with love for my favorite nurse, Sarah. And on the inside, it looks like I have something sticky in here. I have an old adhesive remover. So I'm just going to kind of get that out of there. Okay. And then I have... Um, from that, from the um, handsomely suited stamp set, it says you're the best. And I, as I said, I'm sure that we all have nurses that we could send that to, especially this year, right? I know I do. Okay, so you're the best. So there is that card. So look at the variety. This is such a great um, suite of products and look at all that you can do with it. It's just fun. Here, I gotta bring my leprechaun card in again because it is St. Patrick's Day. So those are my cards for today. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, so Debbie, you know what? That's a great idea. We could make a card for the, for the mail carrier. That's what Debbie is. We'll have to try to figure that out. But these are my three cards and please don't forget to take advantage of the free shipping today. If you go to my blog, lauramilligan.com and look at today's post, there's a big B and it says click here to shop now. You can't miss it. Um, I of course would appreciate um, your orders as, as always. And anytime you order from me, you get a hand stamp thank you card that you can reuse. And sometimes I put little surprises in your card as well. So um, I'm gonna flip my phone back up Thank you so much for joining me today. I, I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful St. Patrick's Day. And I, I keep saying, you know, we're the lucky ones because we get to take advantage of free shipping. So um, I will be back on Monday with some more creative ideas to share with you. If you leave a comment today or if you share my Facebook Live, you'll be entered into a drawing um, to win the cards that I've been making this week. So I hope that you will do that. And... Um, thank you so much for joining me, and as always, I hope you have time to be creative today. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.